Okay, guys, I am so excited. <laughs> uh, this is a, this is a different kind of unboxing. Well, it's the same kind of unboxing. I've actually um, I ordered um, from the Eldol store. Uh, they have an eBay location. They have eBay and they have um, they have Amazon, and you can get different things right now from both of them. And I've been checking back and forth on them, and I got three dolls from them uh, to unbox today. I'm so excited. I really, really love this company. And um, from what I heard from the directly from the company, there's um, some some really cool stuff that's going to be coming out from them next year. Um, different type of boxes, different type of... Uh, uh, I don't know, new girls more than likely. Uh, they're going to be having some more fashion packs. Um, I, yeah, these guys are great. Um, so let me just go ahead and unbox this, and I'll show you guys what we got inside here. Uh, let me get some scissors now. All right, I found my scissors. I don't know if I can actually do this 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up and get a tripod already. Let's see here. If you guys don't know anything about L dolls, um, I've done a few unboxings and uh, openings of them before on this channel. I accidentally ran into them their store on Amazon and I'm so addicted. Okay, let's see here. So I was able to get it open without having to turn the camera off. This is good. This is good. And this is good. Okay, what do we have? Oh. Uh, mm. Okay, so um, it looks like we're going to be dressing them all today. So anyone who's um, against nudity <laughs> might want to turn your head. So, uh, yeah, so the girls are unboxed in bags, or undressed in bags, and we have our outfits in here as well. So, let's see. I'm pretty excited here. All right. All right. So we got everything out of the box. We got three girls and three outfits. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dress each one of them one by one. I don't know their names, unfortunately. I don't think these ones came with names. So, um, but they all have different hair colors and then the ones that I have already in my collection. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let me just get, um, our first girl dressed. So here's our first girl. Uh, we have her all dressed up. I really, really like this outfit, guys. Um, that was one of the things that sold me on her, but she has these gorgeous, okay, all the girl all dolls that I've gotten purchased from them so far have had gorgeous inset eyes. And this one is no different in quality and amazement. So she has kind of a, I want to say medium brown, maybe even hazel eyes. She's got a pink eyeshadow, and then she also has um, lashes. Uh, what do you want to call them? 3D lashes? Painted? Not, not, non? She has actual real lashes, okay? <laughs> they're probably glued on or whatever, I don't really know, or inside. But uh, they're not as, they're not super long, but they're there. Uh, underneath she has a kind of a gold liner under her eyes. You can see that. And then she has a pearlescent type uh, pink lipstick. It's on. Uh, her hair is very, very soft and super, super long. I don't even know what, what color to describe this to be. It's like a... It's like a reddish pink color. Really pale, but like... I don't know. It's really, really pretty. You guys can see it. I want to say it's maybe more of a... I guess a strawberry blonde? Is that what you want to call it? This is a strawberry blonde. So, um, yeah, so that's her. And then uh, this gorgeous dress, you can see uh, the top part of the dress is like is elastic stretchy, and it goes on really, really tight on the top of her, so it stays on there. So uh, it doesn't need straps or anything. You can see all the different colors in there. It is an embroidered type fabric. It's really pretty. And then it comes down, and it's attached to this tool, uh, bottom of the dress's tool, and there's like how many layers? One, two, maybe three layers of tool, and it just, it, it puffs out, and it's just this cute, 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 cute thing. It's, there's so many layers that you can't even tell it's see-through, and it's the purple tool, and then she also has matching purple shoes. You can see those heels right there, if I can get that to focus for you. Uh, as for articulation, she's got some crazy cool articulation. Her head, 
her head moves back and forth and up and down. Uh, and then her shoulders, she has the shoulder joints. She has her elbow joints. She has her wrist joints. Her waist does shrivel, swivel back and forth. And then she has her thigh joints. And then she has her leg joints. And the leg joints are cool because I think that they're, they, they go all the way back. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. But anyway, they bend enough. She does this one. This particular uh, model doesn't have um, ankle articulation. Some of them do. Uh, not the bigger ones. Um, I think Alice and Red that we did on this channel did have ankle articulation, and could point her toes. But I'm okay without the articulation. I think she's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm really excited to add her to my collection. So um, we're gonna move on to our next girl here, and uh, she's actually supposed to be a mermaid. We do have the mermaid outfit to put on her, so. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm going to get her all dressed up, our little redhead here, and um, we will show you her. I also wanted to point out to you guys that they do, uh, when they when they ship them, they put them in bags and they do cover the face so the eyes don't get scratched. So that's um, a, a super plus for me. So here's our redhead girl. Um, she has a different body and face sculpt uh, than the other mermaids that we have in our collection. If you look really close in her eyes, and I'm going to see if I can do this without blurring her out let's see here you can see that they're brown but they have those black spiralies in them so they're pretty cool and then she has a uh, an orange coat an orangey colored lip to match her orange hair which is super long guys so it's super long it's a little choppy in here her kind of might actually trim that a little bit that might have just happened in shipping her body is a little bit loose you guys see it swivels a little bit here I think they tried to go with, try to get articulation around the uh, chest area, which uh, some some articulated dolls have. So uh, I'm assuming that she may actually be sort of an experiment, because they are a very, very new company. So I'm probably getting a lot of prototypes or a lot of uh, hand-created dolls from them, as mine don't even come in boxes yet. Next year, they're supposed to come in some fancy boxes and stuff. Uh, also, her I also wanted to note that this really cool mermaid outfit that she's wearing is also a different style than the ones that I have uh, on my other girls, which I will do another video later and I will show you all the mermaid girls together and show you the differences between them. But uh, for now, we're going to focus on her. Uh, she also has a really cool eyeshadow. If you guys can check out her eyes here again, uh, she's got that salmon-y uh, pink color that goes um, up and around on the bottom and the top of her eyelids. She doesn't have any art, um, any, um, real lashes, and I believe my other mermaids don't either, so that's kind of a thing with them. But she also has a little bit of blue liner, um, on top of her eyeshadow. Moving down, uh, her head moves, uh, back and forth and, uh, up and down. Her, she has shoulder joints, she has elbow joints, and she has wrist joints. She also has that swivel joint right here I was showing you. It's kind of loose. It doesn't bother me too badly. Uh, I do wish it was a little bit tighter, but, uh, I can work with it. She's a mermaid. She can swim. <laughs> and then she has thigh joints. And then she has the knee joints that the uh, other girl has. And uh, no ankle joints. And that's okay. So uh, sh you can... Uh... And her outfit is really cool. It's green, as you can see. But it is uh, holographic. If you uh, look at it in the light, you can see some shades of blue in there. And light green. Because the holographic is like is like a confetti holographic that's kind of on the fabric. And then it's scaling that goes all the way down. Uh, there's black fabric to uh, break that up to make it look like scaling all the way down to the tail. That has a little bit of stuffing in it. No, does it? No, it doesn't. Um, and it has black lace on the bottom line and then the top line uh, that goes up around her um, her chest. So she's pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and sit her down, and we're going to look at our last girl today. And our last girl here, she has a bunch of uniqueness uh, that attracted me to her. I got lucky. She was the last one, I think, that they had to order on their website. I'm sure there'll be more coming, but she was the last of the batch. She has a really cool uh, head mold that I think also is unique to her. Uh, it might actually be the same as our mermaid girl. I'm not sure. And even her eyes are, I think, similar in color. Uh, in fact, let's just put them together here. Um, maybe? Yeah, maybe they have the same mold. They both have that open smile with the teeth. 
and uh, they both have more of a wider nose, wider nose than her. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so she has the same type of um, eyeshadow. She's got that pink eyeshadow with the blue liner. And then she's got the light brown eyes. She has a really cool... She has the auburn ha colored hair, which I think she was the first one that I was able to find with auburn hair uh, to add to our collection. And she also has like a Mary Jane type hairstyle going on there. Um, and she has pierced ears, which is also, I don't think, a feature with the other ones. Uh, yep, it looks like she might have pierced ears. So, uh, yeah, so some of the fashion packs that come out, uh, we might be able to mix and match with those. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Also with her, uh, she has this really cool outfit that was unique to her that also attracted me to her. She has this really cute kawaii type style Alice. I'm going to say Alice in Wonderland type t-shirt. Um, or a girl that looks similar to it, to her. And kind of a couture dress that's winking. A little cute little bow in, in her hair. That is a printed on design. Uh, she's got a white shirt. And cotton and then a different type of fabric on the top it's like a soft almost velvety that's uh, the red collar is like a velvet color a velvet material and then she has a cotton skirt that's red and polka dot and then she has matching shoes that are really cute as well uh, completely different design as the ones that we looked at in our other girl so overall these girls um, and she has the same type of articulation as our mermaid does, except for she's a little bit more uh, steady in the waist. She's not as loose. So um, overall, these girls are still in their indie stage um, at this point. But I'm enjoying them. I'm loving them right now. I, I don't know if their price is going gonna, is gonna to go up when they, uh, when they reach more of a professional status, but... Uh, right now, I'm loving them. I am so excited to add these to my collection. Uh, I, I, this totally made my day. <laughs> uh, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.